In this tutorial, I'm going to create a bootable USB thumb drive running OS X Yosemite. I'm going to use the create install media command. This is a program that's built into the Yosemite installer. Apple has a reference to this program and I will use that as my guide as well as link it in the description area. Create install media is a program that is meant to run in terminal. If you are uncomfortable with terminal or the command line, I'll simplify things in this tutorial. Other tutorials use the copy and paste method. They copy the code from the web, make the modifications to reflect the system or the, the setup that they're using, and then paste that modified text into the command line and then execute. Or sometimes they copy from the reference and then paste directly into the terminal and then run it. Sometimes this fails because a character or maybe two, maybe even more, are typed in incorrectly. In this tutorial, I'll show you a method that is easier and will prevent this from happening. I'm using a USB 2 8 gigabyte Lexar thumb drive. You can use a USB 3, but that costs more, so you stick with USB 2, and it has to be at the very least 8 gigabytes. We need to prep the drive, so I'm going to run disk utility. By clicking on the 8.01 gigabyte Lexar drive, I get access to the partition map information and by default it's set to master boot record. We need to change that. So click on partition, change from current to one partition. You can omit this part right here. You can skip this. Click on options, change it to GUID partition table, click OK and apply. Partition, let it run. For the USB thumb drive to be bootable on a Mac system, the partition map scheme has to be set as a GUID partition table. I'll link to Apple's website in the description. The drive is now formatted. Check the partition map is now GUID partition table. The volume really doesn't matter. It's, it's titled Untitled 1 with uh, Mac Extended um, OS Extended Journal. That doesn't matter because it will be formatted by the Create Install Media program. We now need to launch Terminal. I've got it already set on my dock, so I'm just going to click on it to launch a terminal window. Terminal is located in the Utilities folder. The next step is to download the Yosemite Installer. Launch the App Store, either click on the search field and type in Yosemite, or if you've downloaded that in the past, you go down to the Purchased tab, and it should be listed there. If it says, like in my case, downloaded, that means it's already downloaded in, in the application folder. The USB thumb drive is boot ready, but not bootable. We need to install the operating system. We've already downloaded the Yosemite installer and it's in the applications folder. So I'm going to call up the application folder by using the hotkey command shift a. From the highlighted, you can see the first word is sudo S U D O sudo is substitute user do by default. The substitute user is root. So this runs at the root level. So the first thing we need to do is type in sudo in terminal and follow that with a space. Following sudo is the path to the create install media program which is located in the applications folder inside the install OS 10 Yosemite program itself. And instead of copying and pasting this or typing this out, I'll show you a way to get to it and we'll do a simple drag and drop. So what we need to do is open up the Applications folder, look for the Install OS 10 Yosemite, right-click, Show Package Contents, open the Contents folder, open the Resources folder, drag and drop the Create Install Media into the terminal window, and it will automatically fill out the path to the Create Install Media program. The next sequence is a double dash volume space forward slash volumes forward slash my volume. The double dash volume is an option and what follows the option is the path to the target volume in which to install the operating system. The problem is if we were to copy and paste this, it would fail because the volume name in the example is my volume. However, the volume name in my USB thumb drive is untitled one. To resolve this, we'll do another drag and drop. 
I'm going to first type in in the terminal window a double dash volume and then a space and then from that point drag untitled one from the desktop onto the terminal window. What this will do is it will fill out again the path to that volume which is forward slash volumes slash untitled. Notice that there's a backslash here that is used to escape out the space and then followed by a one. Next is a double dash application path, all one word. This is an option. Following the option is the actual path to the Yosemite installer. In terminal, type in double dash application path followed by a space. Now the finder window is currently set to resources. We need to change this back to application. So you can do this by going to the go menu and clicking applications or using the hotkey command shift A. Or if you have it on your sidebar in applications, click on that. Then within the applications folder, find the install OS 10 Yosemite installer app drag the icon onto the terminal window this will automatically fill the path to the installer the create install media command is pretty much set double check to make sure that there are spaces where there need to be spaces as well as the two options and the paths that follow those options are set and you got to make sure that this is run under sudo if it looks good, push return to execute the command. After you push return and before the command executes, it requires an administrator password. This is because this program is run under super user. If your account is at admin level, meaning you can install applications, then use that password. Notice that as you type, it does not display the password on screen. This is for security purposes. If you make a mistake, it'll tell you and ask for the password again. Just keep going until it goes through. What follows is a prompt saying that it's going to erase the volume untitled one. We do, so push Y and then return. Create install media will then format the drive and install into the newly formatted drive. Just let it run, it's gonna take some time. The USB drive is now complete. It took about 20 minutes to format the drive, copy the installer and the boot files. Verify that the USB thumb drive is bootable. To do this, go to the Apple menu, go to System Preferences, click on Startup Disk. Within Startup Disk, you should be able to see Install OS 10 Yosemite. If you see it, then your drive is good to go.